欢迎大家到破解中文，我是尹鹏。今天我们要学习你应该知道的十个多音字。Hey everybody, welcome to Cracking Chinese. I'm Carl, and today we want to learn ten Chinese homographs or polyphones, whatever you want to call them, that you need to know. So let's get cracking. 所、so、以 ，quick note about Chinese homographs or polyphones. In Chinese, it's a 多音字 which makes it quite clear that it's a character that has more than one pronunciation or more than one tone. And today, we want to go through the top ten most common that have different pronunciation. So here's our first one, which can be pronounced xing, or it can be pronounced hang. So if it's xing, it appears in xing zhou, which means to walk. It also appears in xing wei, which means conduct or behavior. If it's hang, it means can mean a row like the sanhang, the third row or the third line,、uh, and it can also have an idea of something to do with a profession、uh, or a trade. So it appears in the word for yin hang, which is bank. So here's our second one, which can either be pronounced diao or tiao,、uh, both of which can have a variety of meanings.、Uh, diao appears in sheng diao for tone,、uh, or it appears in words like diao cha for investigate. And it often has the idea of transferring or shifting something.、Uh, tiao, on the other hand,、uh, appears in the word tiao zhong, which means to adjust,、uh, and it also appears in the word for condiment or seasoning, tiao liao. So number three can either be pronounced le or it can be pronounced yue. Le means happy or enjoyment from kuai le,、uh, and yue means music from yin yue. So you'll have seen number four before. It can be pronounced da or it can be pronounced dai. Da, as you know, means big or large. Appears in the word da xiao, which means size, and then dai only really appears in the word dai fu, which means doctor. So you'll have seen number five before. This can be pronounced de, or it can be pronounced di.、Uh, if it's de, then it often indicates possession, like water, mine.、Uh, if it's di, then it appears in the word di chue, which means indeed or really. Number six can be pronounced huan. Or it can be pronounced hai. If it's hai, then、uh, it appears in words like haiyo or hai meiyo, and means still or yet.、Uh, if it's huan, then it can mean return or repay, like huan qian to repay money. Here's number seven, which can be pronounced jiao, or it can be pronounced jue. If it's jiao, it's from shui jiao, which means to sleep,、uh, and if it's jue, it means to feel from jue de or gan jue. So、number eight, we have another very common one. It can be pronounced chang,、uh, or it can be pronounced jang. If it's chang, it can mean long、uh, or length, like in chang duan.、Uh, and if it is、uh, jang, then it can mean to grow up, like in jang da.、Uh, or it can mean someone senior, like your elder, as in jang bei. So number nine is a tricky one because of the two pronunciations, one of them can be pronounced with two different tones. So we have cha, cha, and chai. So cha means difference.、Uh, appears in words like shu cha, which means time difference, or it can mean jet lag. And then cha means to differ from or to fall short of,、uh, and appears in the very common word cha bdo. And then chai means to dispatch or send, and appears in the common word chu chai, which means business trip. So we save the best one、uh, until last because this one has three pronunciations. We have、uh, jiao, zhuo, and zhe. So jiao. Uh, has quite a few different meanings.、Uh, you see it in Zhao Ji to be anxious, and you can see it in Shui Zhao、uh, to fall asleep or to be asleep. Zhuo、uh, also has a number of different meanings. You can see it in Zhuo Shou, which means to get started on something. Zhuo、uh, Xiang, which means to think about someone, to think about their interests, to consider them.、Uh, and then Zhe, a little bit tricky, gets added to verbs to denote continuous action.、Uh, so Jianzhe means to be standing. Kanzhe.、Uh, Means to be watching or to be looking, and so on and so forth. So that's it, folks. That's ten common Chinese homographs or doyinzu that you need to know. Have we missed any that you think are more common than these ten? Then please let us know down in the comments below. Thanks very much for watching this video. Please hit the like button. Consider subscribing to the channel, and hopefully we'll see you next time. 谢谢大家，再见，加油。